Okay, in part one of this series, we talked about the Kegel or season words for uh, the first two seasons of the se of the year, uh, spring and summer. And now we're going to conclude this series with uh, the season words for um, autumn and winter. And again, I'll have all the links to um, the files and to the uh, books on which the file is based in the description. So uh, make sure to na make note of the links in the description. Uh, let us begin now with autumn. Um, the first subcategory is uh, the seasonal, the explicitly seasonal words uh, for autumn. And uh, these are, most of these have uh, shu or aki, the kanji, in the words. Um, I'm not going to read all of them, but uh, let us go through a few of them. Rishu is the coming of autumn. Okay, so aki, aki ga tatsu, right? Aki ga tatsu, the Congo for that. The uh, Chinese compound word for that is uh, rishu, um, meaning the coming of autumn. Remaining heat, zanshou, okay, nokotta atsa. Zanshou is a word that is uh, a season word for autumn, okay? So even though the summer has... Uh, transitioned into autumn, it is still hot, is the meaning of that word, zanshou, which is associated with early autumn. The new coolness, shinryo, uh, with the kanjis for atarashi and suzushi, uh, shinryo is the new coolness that comes at early autumn, thus uh, the word's association with um, early autumn. Autumn day, aki no hi, obviously an autumn word for the entire um, scope, the entire breadth of autumn. Uh, aki no kure is a word that you see all the time in Japanese poetry, uh, meaning autumn dusk. Obviously, it's an um, autumn word, and for all of autumn, not just the beginning. And the close of autumn. Me, uh, keep in mind that the aki no kure can also mean the close of autumn, okay? Written with a different kanji in that case, or no, the same kanji, but um, it can have a double meaning or two meanings, and it can imply uh, specifically the end or late autumn. Uh, long night, yonagara, yonaga, which is a word we saw in uh, Basho's uh, Oku no Hoso Michi, right? It means all night long, but specifically all night long in autumn. Okay, so it's not all night long in summer or winter. Yonaga, yonaga is all night long in throughout autumn, all of autumn. Refreshing, sawayaka, is a word... Uh, that is is a season word for the all of autumn. Uh, refreshing chili, hiyayaka, is uh, specifically a mid-autumn word, hiyayaka. Uh, soak to the bone, minishimu, which is a word that we saw in uh, the Matsuo Basho poem, uh, meaning soak to the bone, penetrate to the bone. This is uh, a, a season word for all of autumn. It sometimes translates as pierce to the bone, but the sensation is of one being soaked, as indicated by the etymology of the verb, shimu, right? Shimiru in modern Japanese. Shimu is the classical uh, form of it. Colloquial, the phrase means uh, felt to or from the bottom of the heart. Okay. Yaya samu, uh, a little cold, is a late autumn word. Night chill, yosamu, late autumn. Sisamaji, and keep in mind that this is not the same, it's the same word, but it had a very different meaning than it has today. The word sisamaji today means uh, uh, amazing or great or awesome or uh, radical dude or something like that. Uh, but uh, in pre-modern times, before the major period, it usually meant uh, desolate, kodoka, right? It had the sense of loneliness, um, this connotation of loneliness, and it is a late autumn word, sisamaji. And I think we talk about that in my um, translation of Nakanishi's book as well. Uh, aki fukashi, autumn deepens, right? Obviously an autumn word, but specifically late autumn, right? When the autumn uh, deepens and begins to transition to winter, okay? And uh, fleeting autumn, yuku aki. So we saw yuku haru in the haru section. Now we see yuku aki, which is um, a term that Basho uses in the poem too. Um, that we discussed a few days ago in Oku no Mis uh, Oku Hosomichi, uh, Yuku Autumn Yuku Aki is late autumn, fleeting autumn, as autumn uh, departs and heads toward winter is what it means. 
Okay, now picking up the pace, autumn, these are the heaven words, okay? So the words that are associated with uh, the sky and when, whatever you see when you look up, okay? Autumn, the heavens. First we have shu shoka, autumn color. Okay, this is for, uh, for all of autumn. The coloration of the atmosphere from autumn foliage. An autumnal clear day, akibade, is all autumn. Aki no koe, the autumn's voice, is for all of autumn. That is the sounds that you hear, the rustles of the wind, the wind in the dry leaves, the insects and so forth. Uh, the sounds of autumn's aki no koe, this is for, uh, an autumnal term for all of autumn. Aki no sora, all of autumn again, particularly for the intensity of its blue in the sky. Okay, um, aki, autumn skies are noted for their azure quality in Japan in the uh, autumn. Uh, macro clouds, iwashi gumo, is an autumn word, it's a seasonal word for all of autumn. Moon, tsuki, is all autumn. Okay, obviously the moon is there up in the sky, up in the heavens all the time, but the moon in Japanese culture is specifically associated with autumn. Remember that. Okay, all of autumn, tsuki. Okay, waiting evening, matsu yoi, is an, a season word for mid-autumn, matsu yoi. Yoi is another kanji, you write it with different kanji, but it means the same thing as yoru, okay? Matsu yoi, waiting evening, the night before the harvest moon specifically, and that's a mid-autumn word. Meigetsu is the moon on the 15th night of each month in the old lunar calendar, okay? Um, for, specifically the full moon of September, corresponding to the 15th month of the 8th lunar month, Bright moon or harvest moon, Megetsu, is a seasonal word for mid-autumn. Uh, izayoi is the 16th night. Okay, so you have the Megetsu night, then after that you have the Izayoi. We talk about this in uh, my Nakanishi book as well. Um, of the 8th lunar month, uh, the 16th night of the 8th lunar month, okay, so September again in our calendar. The next night after the harvest moon, next full moon, Nochi no Tsuki is after the harvest moon. This is again a late autumn seasonal word. Nochi no tsuki. Amanogawa is the Milky Way or literally river of heaven which is an early autumn word. Next we have Akikaze is a word for the entirety of all, all autumn, the entirety of autumn. Uh, next is Hatsu Arashi, the first autumn storm. Okay, autumn isn't in the word. Hatsu arashi. Arashi is the word for a storm or tempest. This is a seasonal word for early autumn. Nowaki. Okay, this is another word that we talk about in my um, Nakanishi translation. The Nowaki winds is a wind storm or literally a field divider. The winds that rush in in autumn to divide the fields. Right. So this is specifically a mid-autumn word. Uh, Aki no ame, all of autumn is autumn rain, okay? Inazuma, we talk about this in my book as well, in the, my Nakanishi, Nakanishi translation, Inazuka, uh, Inazuma, sorry, um, Ina is rice and Zuma is wife, so literally it comes from uh, the, the idea of uh, lightning being wedded to the rice, okay? Inazuma means lightning and that's a word for all of autumn, um, okay, lightning at other seasons is spring lightning and so forth. Okay, so regular Inazuma is specifically an autumn, has autumn associations. Fog or Kiri, all of autumn. Du, Tsuyu, all of autumn. Okay, Tsuyu is probably the most important image that appears in classical Japanese literature, right? Tsuyu is used as a metaphor for tears, for sexual intercourse, for all kinds of things. Uh, but it's specifically associated with autumn. Okay, not to be confused with tsuyu, which is a rainy season, different kanji, of course. Uh, the du chill, tsuyu zamu, is specifically late autumn. Okay, as the autumn turn transitions into winter, you have tsuyu zamu. Okay, so cold tsuyu, cold du. And du frost, tsuyu jimo, is again late autumn as the season transitions into winter. Okay, next subcategory is. Autumn uh, is uh, earth words that are associated with autumn. Okay, so the words um, gardens and fields and patties and so forth. First is hanazono, 
is a flower garden. It's a word for all, a season word for all of autumn. Hanano, all of autumn. 